Yo, what is happening guys and welcome to a brand new H1Z1 PS4 video. Hello guys and welcome, I hope you guys are doing good today and welcome back to another brand new video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about third person aiming coming to H1Z1 on the PS4. We're not talking about any glitches, we're not talking about bugs. As you guys are well aware probably at this point, there was a bug in the game for a long time which allowed you to go into third person ADS. It wasn't the proper version of third person ADS, your aim kind of got swayed off. So it wasn't as you know powerful as normal third person ADS will be. H1Z1 officially announced on their Twitter a couple of days ago with a gameplay trailer third person ADS will be coming to H1Z1 on the PS4. In today's video I just want to clear a few things up, give you guys my ideas of what's probably going to happen. I just want to say guys uh, the last H1Z1 PS4 video absolutely popped off. It was H1Z1 PS4 in 2019. I think it got almost 15,000 views in the first couple of days. So thank you guys for checking out that video if you haven't done so already. Um, I will leave a little link at the top of the screen right now if you guys do want to go check that out. Pretty funny video, I just kind of ran around spamming everybody with the crossbow and kind of messing around. So uh, thank you guys for the support in that video. So like I said, a couple of days ago on H1Z1's Twitter, they announced a third person ADS. Now like I said, I do want to clear a few things up because I think some of you guys have got a, a little bit backwards in some ways. So I want to clear up any misinformation and stuff like that. Now from what I can tell, it'll be as accurate as aiming down sights. There's a couple of reasons I have to believe this. Now if you guys have been following the channel for a long time, if you guys watch some of my ultimate guide videos and any of my tutorials, you guys have heard me say before that there is a lot of bloom in this game, meaning that you're aiming straight on somebody and there's only a chance that your bullet will go straight. I'm sure you guys have noticed with the AK MP7, your bullets kind of go everywhere. So a lot of people are looking at this video and saying, oh it's only just a more accurate hip fire. That is literally how your bullets go whenever you aim down sights. Um, one thing that I feel like proves this point is if you have a look at the screenshot of the AR-15, you can see that it's a tiny dot. Now the AR-15 is like one of the only accurate weapons in the game. The SOCOM, Scout Rifle, AR-15 are probably the most accurate weapons in the game. As you can see when the uh, character is aiming down sights, it's only a tiny dot. And basically what happens with that is whenever you spray the AR, it does get a little bit of bloom. But if you tap it in a rhythm, it will always go straight. So from what I can tell, it's not like PUBG where it's just a more accurate hip fire. This is legitimate third person aiming in H1Z1 on the PS4. Now, just looking through this video, there is one point I would like to uh, show you guys in the video. You can see that he aimed down sights with the KH-43. It looks like there's an extra animation that goes into that now. It doesn't like automatically ADS like it does currently. It's, a, it's as if the scope kind of rolls up on your screen, uh, for lack of a better term, it kind of rolls onto your screen. There may be some kind of animation in there which will be brand new. Now what I'm most interested to know is are they going to add this in as an option? Like for example, you go into your menu and you press you know third person or first person, like what kind of ADS do you want? Or will you have both things available to you at once? And if so, are they going to keep scoped weapons as first person ADS? Personally, the way I'd like to see them implement this is if you take weapons such as the M40, the SOCOM rifle, those will stay as scoped weapons if you've got third person ADS enabled, but everything else like SMGs, AR, shotguns, so on and so forth, will all just have a third person ADS. That's the most sensible way I can see. Uh, what I can probably see happening though is you'll have an option to toggle between both. So for example, if you guys have never played PUBG, there's controller type A and controller type B. Controller type A means you tap L2 to ADS and then hold L2 to third person ADS essentially. I could see them implementing something like that. However, I do feel like that will be a little bit awkward. So most people will probably just hold to third person ADS. That will definitely be interesting to see how that goes. Let me know how you guys would like to have third person ADS implemented on H1Z1 PS4. Uh, personally, I would like it to be one or the other. You can kind of toggle it in the menus and that way it doesn't feel awkward. And obviously keep the scoped weapons as first person ADS. I think third person ADS snipers would not really work that well and probably are a little bit OP that way. So yeah, that's that guys. You guys are probably wondering when is this going to come to each one? Well, the battle pass is due to end in about four weeks. So presumably they're going to add this to the game in season four. I would love it if they added it sooner because I feel like Daybreak takes way too long with updates. Like we get free updates a year in this game, which I think is stupid, honestly. When you see games like Fortnite updating every week and all these other games getting tons of updates all the time and keeping the game fresh and relevant, these updates over long periods of time kind of just makes the game a little bit stale. I know somebody in the comments will be like, oh, it's a free game, what do you expect? But they've got a, a battle pass model and they've got a, you know, a system there for earning money and stuff like that. 
Don't you guys think that more people would buy the Battle Pass if the game was more fresh and kept up to date? I personally do think that more people would buy skins if the game was properly looked after. So you can call it a free game and say, oh, why are you complaining about a free game? But ultimately, if you want the best for this free game, you would probably want them to update it a lot more. And in turn, people will buy skins. It's pretty obvious. Now, they said that they're actually going to be actively testing this new feature um, on H1Z1 PS4 because it's such a fundamental change to core gameplay. And we'll be releasing it initially as a limited time on Ranked Solo's arcade mode for us to try out. And after evaluating our uh, community feedback and stuff, uh, they said they'll look at incorporating it into the core game modes. So hopefully what I'm hoping for is in like two weeks, two or three weeks before the season ends, we'll get a brand new arcade mode just dropped on our laps. Here you go, third person ADS, knock yourself out, and we'll get to try it out beforehand. That'll give us something to look forward to for season four. Now speaking of season four, um, there's a couple of other things that are confirmed to be happening. They're going to be nerfing the crossbow. They haven't actually really went into depth and said how they're going to nerf it, but they said that they're looking at things like ammo capacity, which is obviously a good one because considering that the RPG's got like four bullets and the crossbow's got nine, it doesn't really make sense. The crossbow's way more accurate. If it was me, like, I would put the RPG in blue and the crossbow as it currently sits in gold and the, probably the combat shotgun in gold as well. The RPG's way less powerful than the crossbow and it's, and it's a gold weapon, so it doesn't really make any sense to me. If it was my choice, I would say like EMP only affects the car whenever you directly impact it. I would severely nerf the explosive damage. You, you guys have seen it in my last video, like I said. Um, you can just shoot the ground twice and kill people in shotgun fights while running around in circles, making it hard for you to be hit. You don't have to aim, just shoot the ground and you do like enough to kill somebody. You obviously damage free armor. If you shoot a crossbow like 10 meters away from somebody's car, it's EMP'd for like a minute. Why is the EMP so long, by the way? I think they could do with toning that down a little bit as well. Direct impact is 90 damage. I think just overall the crossbow is incredibly overpowered. If it was gold and it, you know they just left it how it was, you know what? Fair enough. Crossbow gold, RPG blue, problem solved, two or three crossbows per game. Okay, I can deal with it. But it's just whenever like you can literally fucking triple crossbow shotgun combo and you've got squads and fives who will, you know, crossbow spam a team, pick up their crossbow. Literally all five people have a crossbow in the team. It's just overpowered and ridiculous. So hopefully that gets patched before season four. But in any case, it is getting patched. Now, a few months ago on H1Z1's Twitter, um, they replied to Hydro Outcast. Hello, Hydro, if you're watching, you mouse and keyboard bot. We all know you use the mouse and keyboard, Hydro. You can't, you can't fool us, all right? But in all seriousness, though, um, they replied to him saying that they're going to be making a new map. Supposedly that was coming in season four. Now, I'm going to recommend another one of my videos. 10 things that could come to H1Z1 PS4 that are already on PC. In that video, I talked about Z1, the original uh, H1Z1 map, but supposedly they're going to be making a brand new map for H1Z1 on the PS4. So season four could be a pretty awesome update, hopefully. As you guys know, I pretty much quit H1 after PUBG came out. I have been playing recently and I, I really do miss H1Z1. Um, it was personally my favorite battle royale on PS4 of all time. So I would love to come back to H1 and play it every day and really enjoy it. So hopefully these updates are timely and hopefully Debra can learn from their mistakes in the future. But that is basically it for today's video, guys. If you did enjoy it, go on ahead and drop a like. If you're new to this channel, if you've somehow never seen me, I've uploaded loads of H1Z1 PS4 videos in the past. Um, go on ahead and get subscribed today. I will be covering more H1Z1 PS4 content. I've got a, a pretty high kill win to upload pretty soon, so stay tuned. But yeah, that's pretty much it for today's video, guys. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. And if you guys dislike the video, leave a like. If you guys are subscribed, stay subscribed and get the notifications on. If you guys aren't subscribed, subscribe and put your notifications on. If you guys are unsubscribing, resubscribe and put your notifications on. But that is it, guys. Thank you for watching. This has been King Plays. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Good luck and peace out. They telling me to take the safe route. This is the detour. Hoodie, baby, you ain't seen it.